it's Celeste here and welcome to Crafter's Story. So in a previous video, not uh, I think last week, I uh, showed you how I was using up all my old paints. I've got a bunch of them and literally I think there's three drops in the bottle. <laughs> I just never throw them out. So I've been working on clearing space and getting rid of some of my old supplies but trying to use them up and not be wasteful. Um, so as as part of that theme for this for the end of the 2022 I'm trying <laughs> just to clear some space so I've been making some of these scrappy I've got this is what I've decided to call them scrappy strips of tape and um, I'm able to make really beautiful ones I think little scrappy collage tape pieces Here's two of them, and then just three examples of how I've used them is a very easy tag, like a collage tag. Um, then I've put some writing paper on the back, and this is going to make a really nice um, insert into my journal. Um, the other thing that I've made is this sort of side pocket belly band, which worked out really nicely as well. So you can write here and then have something else that you can perhaps slip into the side here as well so it has a dual function and then the um, something else that I I'll move this aside just for a second <clears throat> and then just another ex example of how you can use these strappy tapes and then I have another example but we have to make some tape for it first is just to make one of these sort of little door I don't know what I would call this. What would you guys call this? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments what you would call this. Because I'm calling it a window, door, thingy my bob. <laughs> but it is a really nice um, accent, <clears throat> excuse me, to the doors of this fold open folder. I guess that's kind of what it is, right? As a, as a folder. So that's a strip. That's a strip. And we're going to make something similar to this today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want is some double-sided tape. Now you could use whatever width you want. I have um, a variety of, of widths of double-sided tape. This one is two inches. And it's using up the most paper. So I'm... Kind of going with a wider one for now, but I was just thinking this morning that perhaps I could do some thinner ones because they could be almost like a, you know, like a washi tape length of width, uh, the one inch. That could be nice too. All right, so I've got some, I've got my scraps. I've got my scraps, and you don't have to have strap, uh, scraps, sorry, that are so linear. As I've done here, I did little linear strips all the way down, although it, if you look at it quickly, it doesn't look linear. You could go tear randomly, whatever size, um, and do something more of a, a traditional collage like I did here. But for today, I thought it would be nice just to, yeah, this one is also some linear, and then I came in later and added to it. So... No rules, guys. Absolutely no rules. All right, so let's get started. And I'm just going to start at, start at the very bottom and start layering. And the one thing I did notice that I did um, not think about, but did notice, if you're using anything that does have writing on it, it's going to determine the orientation. So I'm going to have to use this, you know, that way, <laughs> when I'm sticking it down because of the writing. So just, you know, just keep that in mind. And so they've got some music paper, some coloring in paper. Here's a piece of a scarf. Let's see, it's uh, some, some napkin paper. Oh, flash bang. Napkin paper. Let's get a little more, a little more fabric fabrics down 
Oh, I've got a ribbon. Oh, ribbon is nice. That's too much. Too much. Cut a piece of the ribbon off. Oh, crash. All right, let's go back in with a little black and white, I think, for some contrast. There we go. Now, honestly, as you can see, uh, there's a little piece of, is it going to bug? Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a new sense. We'll just cover that up. So, as you can see, you honestly can use whatever you have in your stash lying around. Um, I just randomly grabbed whatever was in. Um, I have this little pile, and I just randomly kind of, kind of like stuck my hand in there. <laughs> Pulled out what was in there, and um, there is no color theme because I don't think you need one. Um, you could, I mean, you you could decide that it's more of a um, that you have a red theme or a fall theme or a Christmas theme, or maybe if somebody is having a specific type of birthday, you might want to um, stick to the theme of their birthday. You know it. But there is no, honestly, oh, I did it again. I keep leaving these little bits there, oh, and sticking myself down. Um, but there is no real rule here. I love some of the fraying that's happening here. I might have to just hold it down a little bit with some glue, but it's not a big deal and you honestly you could sit in front of the television at night and just without really thinking too much of what you're doing just start laying down all these little bits of fabric and maybe if you had some lace oh lace oh, and I have so much good ah I didn't think of lace I could have done that but in my next one Rest be assured, I shall be putting lace <laughs> on my scrappy, scrappy tape because, oh, if you can hear me scratching behind me, it's Kaya. It's our little dog, Kaya. <laughs> she's, she's having a scratch session. She likes to have a little dance in the mornings. Maybe, maybe she's just celebrating, um, waking up and saying, it's a new morning. Yay! <laughs> All right, we are close. So, so close. Almost there. And when you put in some of these material pieces, you know, they'd always, they don't always stick down completely. And you can come back and, and do that if you want to. Um, but I kind of, oh, I kind of sometimes like that 3D look that you get. Uh, what should we do for this last, last one? Let's do that. Okay. And yeah, I think I'll come and put that down. And whenever. All right. So we are done with our scrappy piece. And I think it really did come out nicely. And as you could see, I really, I was talking to you. I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. I was really just using up what I had. And now when you turn it over, obviously you've got all these bits sticking out. So I'm going to get rid of those. And if you want to, you could keep them and add them to uh, a thinner, maybe the one inch um, double sided tape. If you took all these little these little pieces and added it to a one inch, I think it could look quite nice. Because look, they, they're more or less, if you consider that as, am I doing this in the front? If you consider that as one inch, they would fit quite nicely. So you could do that, or, you know, if you think, ah, no, I'm kind of done, you know, I'm kind of done with these guys, just let them go. I think at some point, I love to save, I love to reuse and repurpose and not be wasteful, but, you know, at some point, you've got to let some stuff go, and that's, that's hard for me, <laughs> not going to lie, um, I, I want to really get every last little bit of 
use out of my craft supplies because man they can be so expensive hey i mean they can really it can really add up and so part of junk journaling part of the lure of junk journaling for me is the fact that i can go thrifting i can go rummaging um and come out with supplies that i can use for honestly next to nothing now i'm going to just close my eyes take a deep breath and throw these out okay no turning back they are in the trash <laughs> Sometimes it feels good just to make a little space. All right, so here we go. I have made the strip, and so I thought what we could do is I made a quick little little book with a couple of little pages, nothing fancy, and we are just going to paste down. Oh, I made it too wide. That's okay. We can just trim it. I wonder, I kind of like this music note, I, I didn't use much of that, did I? I actually didn't use any of that. So I think I'll put the music note at the top. Hmm, no, no, let's do that. Oh, music note, what am, I'm being, I'm being silly. Alright, so we're just going to cut it here. There you go. Now I have a stash. Or some of these to add to my to the other scrappy pieces that I've got and here I did use a little more thankfully of the music notes so that's good but let us put this down and see what our little booklet will look like now I think it's gonna be gorgeous I think it's gonna be really nice and because I have some writing I definitely want to try not to stick my head <laughs> Under the camera. Uh, let's see. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm so skewed. Oh, dear. It's okay. It is okay. We will just trim it. Oh, good gracious. That stuff sticks. Man, this tape is no joke. But that's good, actually, because it means that whatever you stick this double sided tape to, it ain't going anywhere. It really is not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and because I um, am, had a skew eye, let us just trim this down. And then I have a little book. Oh, let's see. Trim that down to make our little book nice and straight. Oh, that is something I really have to go out and buy, is a proper craft knife. I have no idea where I bought these, but they are at the end of their lives. Or well, it is at the end of its life, should I say. It really doesn't cut very well anymore. <sighs> Gives me a workout. Alright, but that's, we, it gave me a line to cut along, so... That worked. Let's do this side. Nice and straight. So my little book turned out a little thinner than I had first planned for it to be, but it just isn't that big of a deal to me. Because at the end of the day, I used up my scraps. I was able to make a little extra insert for my journal and I gave myself an arm workout. <laughs> oh, finger workout. Gosh. All right, let's get rid of this so that I can oh, share the finished product with you. It's like my scissors needs retirement too. What is going on today? <sighs> All right. There you go. There you go. All right. And so it is done. Now, I think what I would love to do is maybe come in and I don't think my all is anywhere close. 
maybe come in and just put a hole in here, maybe an eyelet, and I think that would just finish it off. Maybe put in a nice ribbon here like I did with the tag. That could look really nice. And I just really, I think the thing that, that um, draws me to this is just how different each project is once you start putting, using the tape in each of these projects. So although the there's a general sort of theme going here with a you know a very feminine floral theme none of them look the same and that's what I love the most but thank you so much for joining me I always appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video bye